So in this video, we are going to understand the different epidemiological studies in a fun way. So perspective is always in the forward way from cause to effect. So to understand in a better way, I would like to compare it with the movie Holiday. The soldier is never on a holiday, right? Akshay Kumar's movie. So in that you have seen that the Akshay Kumar with his team follows the suspect and they by following the suspect, they finally reach the destination. So this is like prospective cohort study following the cause and reaching to the effect. For example, you choose alcoholic people as your study population in 2022 and then follow them in uh, 2042 and see which of them have chronic heart diseases and then comes case control study so for case control study it's like investigating a murder scene so murder you have to go from effect to cause after murder you will ask the suspects which can be divided into cases and controls cases can be their family members and controls can be their neighbor state so in case control study, for example, your study population are the people who are having CHD right now. In 2022, the population is having CHD. You go back in time and see which of these people had uh, were alcoholic. So next is retrospective cohort study. So it's like an ACB, new ACP comes to a new city and he wants to make the city crime free. So what will he do? So the new ACP will go back in the time, open the files, study them and trace the criminals uh, to the present time to see whether they are still involved in the criminal activity or not. In retrospective cohort study, your study population will be the alcoholics back in 2002. You will follow them and see that which of them have CHD in 2022. Next is mixed cohort study. So after the retrospective cohort study, he that is the ACP has found the criminals and is following them. But after putting them in jail, he is still following them and seeing whether they have got a bail from the court or they are involved in some criminal activities as Sudargai, etc. So following after retrospective cohort study, it is prospective cohort study. Both mixed is called mixed cohort study. So in mixed cohort study, you first will do retrospective study. You will go back in time, select the alcoholics in 2000 and uh, see that which of them have been chronic heart disease in the current time 2022. And then you will follow those people ahead in 2040. That is a prospective part of the mixed study. This is cross-sectional studies. It's just like income tax officer putting a raid. Nested case control study. If you have seen the movie Force Part 2 in which they hire raw agents, like generally when they hire raw agents, they collect the history, information, and uh, birthplace, all the history about the raw agent before hiring them. So at present, the raw agents are hired. So suppose in the future, any raw agent betrays the country as in the movie, the officers will go back and reread the history and find him. So nested case control studies are a type of cohort studies. They are done only if the diagnostic tests are very expensive and the disease is very rare. So I'll give an example of nested case control study. It is stem cell banking. It's like in 2022, we are taking the history and samples of uh, 10,000 births and refrigerating them. And then uh, further forward study in 2040, we are analyzing them. If you like the trick, press the like button, hit the bell icon and share it with your friends. Thank you.